So we'll begin by creating a new project in order to create an, a new Angry Birds clone on Windows Phone 7 using the Farseer uh, library. For this purpose we start a new project wizard, we select uh, a name, we call it Angry Birds clone and select version 7 as the version to create the project in. We press OK. We'll start by removing everything under the layout root and then change the layout root type to canvas so that the Farseer library works. It needs a canvas in order to operate. We'll change the zoom a bit in order to be more visible. Uh, we'll uh, change uh, the um, support to orientation property on the phone application page to be landscape. We'll also change the, um, the page orientation property again to landscape. And then we'll continue by adding the references for the Varsir library for our project. We can do that by navigating to the project tab, right click, add references. Here are the library references that we downloaded earlier. We'll continue by rebuilding the project so that uh, the behaviors are visible on uh, our library. We'll drag and drop a physics controller behavior so that the layout route becomes the center of uh, our gravity, our world. We'll fiddle with its properties and select uh, mouse pick enable so that we can drag and drop with our, with our fingers objects on, uh, on the surface. And it will begin to create a path that will host uh, the bird and our pigs. We'll do a closed path. Select a color for it and we'll drag a physics object behavior onto the path so that uh, the path remains um, becomes a physics object and we'll also select is static so that uh, no physics are applied onto it, it's a static object. Then we'll create some uh, rectangles to host our pigs. We'll copy it with Ctrl C and Ctrl V three times uh, after we do it a physics object. We'll move the rectangles so that they host our pigs. All of these rectangles are physical objects. And now we go to our projects uh, panel, add existing item, or we'll add the assets for our game. We open them and we drag uh, and drop them onto the designer surface. And now we want to make them physics objects so that they participate in collisions, in gravity forces, and etc. We drag physics object behavior onto each and every one of them. And now we want when the bird collides with its and every one of the pigs, a collision to happen. So we'll do a physics explode behavior so that the, the pig explodes after the collision. We do that for the first pig, we go to the properties, and we want the collision to happen when there is a new collision between this pig and this bird. So we'll select the physics collision trigger this body and with this body, so that the, when those two bodies collide, an explosion will happen. We deactivate the body so that it disappears after the collision and uh, gets exploded in five particles. We will repeat the same process for the second pig. We will add um, physics explode behavior for that. Again, a physics collision trigger when this body collides with the bird but just deactivate it and uh, seven particles. Now we can press F5 to test what we have done in the emulator. Emulator gets raised. We can also change the orientation. We drag and drop the first the bird. We failed the first time. Let's go back to the start. And we also kill the, th the second bird, the th second pink. Thank you very much.